Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to quick start with MLflow, an open source platform for the machine learning lifecycle. Uh, you can find all the information for MLflow on the official website mlflow.org and also on their GitHub repository. Uh, I highly advise you to go through the documentation, which is really well made in my opinion. And uh, let's start by going to VS Code and launch the MLflow UI interface by giving the MLflow UI command. Before that, I forgot to say you have to actually install MLflow by pip install MLflow. Let's go to localhost 5000. This is the actual MLflow UI. And let's see how this is uh, actually divided. The MLflow UI is quite straightforward. You have on the left a list of experiments, which is, uh, in this case, I have two experiments. One is called default and one is called test one. And after that, you have here all the relevant information for the given experiment. So let's read it uh, from uh, top down. I have an experiment test one, which is an ID of one. And I can search and filter runs by parameters or metrics and I have three runs within this test one experiment. In this three runs I have logged parameters and metrics. A parameter for example for this run that I will open right now I have logged a parameter x with a value of three, a, a metric called a metric with a value of 19 but we will see this is actually the final value for this metric and an artifact file.txt with which has an high inside. The run ID is this one. It had an overall duration of around 500 milliseconds. The source is simple example.py and the generated the user that generated this is uh, me. Let's see how we can create an experiment, how we can create a run within that experiment, log a parameter, log a metric, and log an artifact. The first thing I'm going to do is go back to my VS Code. I'm going to create a main. And after that, we're going to say with mlflow.start run, uh, I'm going to import mlflow, and I'm going to ask uh, VS Code for some advice about this method. As you can see, it takes several optional parameters such as run ID, experiment ID, run name, and nested. And as you can see, it says um, that it starts a new MLflow run, setting it as the active run under which metrics and parameters will be logged. So as um, soon as we give this command, all the metrics, all the parameters, all the artifacts that you will be logging afterwards will be logged inside this run. And the return value can be used as a context manager within a with block. Otherwise, you must call end run to terminate the current run. So we will use the context manager by using the with statement. So with mlflow start run, and we're going to say mlflow dot log metric and we're going to call uh, uh, we're going to log a metric a with a value of one we're going to log afterwards an art uh, not an artifact sorry uh, a parameter b with a value of two and we're going to save that's it uh, actually let's let's just put the parameter before the metric just because i i usually Usually you first log the parameters and then the metrics and we're going to run this script. So let's close uh, this MLflow UI server. Let's open another terminal maybe and open it here. I'm going to say MLflow UI. Go back to here, run it. And let's jump back to the MLflow UI. As you can see, our run was created under the default experiment, and we will see why in a second. 
but let's jump into the run itself and as you can see we correctly and uh, uh, successfully logged the parameter b with a value of 2 and the metric a with a value of 1. We didn't log any add effects as of right now. Now if we go back to the code and we read a little more about the start run documentation we will see that the ID of the experiment and the which to create the uh, current run it's applicable only when run ID is not specified and if experiment ID's argument isn't specified which is our case right now it will look for a valid experiment in the following order activated using set experiment mlflow experiment name environment variable mlflow experiment day environment variable uh, experiment ID environment variable my bad or the default experiment is defined by the track and server. So since we didn't specify any of these variables or we didn't set experiment, it's falling, this run is falling under the default experiment. So if we want to create an experiment, we're gonna say mlflow.set experiment and pass the experiment name. We're gonna call it experiment uh, video, I don't know. And after that, if we run this again, we will see that this little run will fall under the experiment video experiment. To make sure that that is indeed the case, we're going to open up the UI again. As we can see, the experiment video experiment was created and uh, the run is inside. Now. The other couple of things that I want to show you before wrapping up this video is how to log an artifact and how to plot the value of metrics over time. This is quite straightforward and as you can see you just have to click here but this doesn't speak much to me because this is a constant value of 1 for uh, because it was just logged once. So to make sure that uh, I give you a little more uh, of a visual feedback, we are gonna create uh, a for loop. So we're gonna say for y, let's call it a, in range 10. We're gonna indent this. We're gonna log the metric a with a value of a, and we're gonna save it again and run it. If we go back here and in the experiment video, you will see that there is a new uh, run. You will see that within the metrics, the final value is actually 9, but that it evolved over time. And you can see how the metric evolves over time, which is really useful, especially when, for example, you're training a neural network and you want to see how this evolves with epochs. Um, how a specific metric, I'm sorry, uh, evolves with epochs. So, for example, the loss, uh, how the loss evolves with epochs, you can actually plot this chart and it will be uh, really nice to visualize the uh, loss. Uh, after that, uh, we want to log an artifact and we also want to give a run a name. So, to do that, we go back to VS Code and we're going to say, Control space to set experiment. Uh, I'm sorry, start run. So right here, we're gonna say uh, run name, and we're gonna specify run name, and we're gonna say, for example, log artifact. Uh, actually, let, let's give a, a more significant name, uh, or, or better, unsignificant name. So we're gonna say just uh, test run name, and save it. And after that, I'm going to log an artifact. To do that, you just do mlflow.log artifact. We are going to pass the local path of the file that you want to log. In this case, it's just file.txt. I have it in my local directory. I'm going to run this again. Go back to the mlflow UI. Refresh the page. You will see that I have this new run, which is called test run name. I'm going to click here. I'm going to open it up. You have file.txt txt with uh, the high inside. So we successfully logged parameters, metrics, and artifacts. 
um, we can see in a, a next video that we can also filter between among runs, search for specific uh, parameters, metrics, and stuff like that, which is actually really interesting. Uh, but uh, I'm going to wrap this up right now uh, to not make it overly uh, long. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, have a really nice day.